This video is brought to you by ProVideoSchool.com. Sign up for live online training and view other free tutorials at ProVideoSchool.com. Hello, this is Paul Escondone with ProVideoSchool.com, and I'm bringing you a tutorial today about how to get the bleach bypass uh, film look in Final Cut Pro using nothing but the Final Cut Pro filters, the color correction three-way filter to be exact. I'm using Final Cut Pro 6, but this can be done on any previous version of Final Cut Pro that I know of, um, just using the uh, filters that I'm about to show you. So the bleach bypass look is a high contrast uh, look. A lot of times it's kind of undersaturated. And it's got, uh, it, it, it's a really cool look if you're trying to do something in a, like a drama. Um, it, it's kind of a film look that people like. So first off, I'm going to just find the footage that I want to use here. And I'm going to just delete the footage around this. So we're going to find the piece of footage that we want to use. In this case, it's this guy from SeaWorld talking here with his hands out. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a color correction three-way filter to this clip. So we're going to go down to effects, video filters, color correction, and then color corrector three-way. And we're not going to do anything with that filter yet. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that clip from track one on the track two by option, click dragging up, and now we have a second clip also with that color correction filter applied on track two. So what we want to do now is we want to double click the clip in track two so that it opens up in the viewer. And we're going to go to the color corrector three-way tab. And it actually looks like this already had a color correction uh, filter applied to it inadvertently. I added a second one. We don't need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the second color correction filter from both of those clips. Okay, we're back. And I'm going to click on the color correction tab on the clip in track two and I'm going to bring the saturation all the way down. And what you see here is you see a black and white clip. We obviously don't want that. So we're going to remedy this by right click or control clicking on the clip in track two going down to composite mode and then mousing over to overlay. And the instant we do that, you'll see that the image change, changes. Uh, the shadows are a lot more prominent. There's more contrast to this image. Uh, it's almost a little bit too dark, but this is just a starting point for us. So we're going to double click the track, the clip in track one, and this is how we're going to tweak it. Once you lower the saturation on the clip in track two, you leave that alone. We're going to go now to the clip in track one and we're going to lower the saturation to taste. Uh, let's just go with right there for now. And then we're going to go to the blacks and we're going to raise the blacks up. And when we do this, we will see a lot of that detail coming back in, in the dark ranges of the image here. And we're just going to kind of tweak until we, we have the look that we're going for. There's still a lot more contrast here, but we still want to get some of the detail back in the face. And then with the mids as well, we can tweak the mids. Uh, to whatever looks best, whatever we think looks best. And then we can raise the whites just a little bit, uh, just so we can kind of get that extreme contrast look there. So we've taken the saturation down, we've raised the blacks for detail, and we've raised the whites a little bit as well. And then we can just kind of play with the saturation, get the look that we, that we want here. And um, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to duplicate the first track, strip the attributes, put it on track three, just so we can do a quick before and after look. So that's the clip as shot. Then I'm going to disable the clip, and now that's the clip we have kind of with that fake bleach bypass look in Final Cut. Let's look again. That's as shot, and then here is the bleach bypass look. Might not be the best idea uh, for such a clip, you know. I, I usually I want to see this look more in, in a film, you know, or some kind of narrative. But, you know, it looks cool here. Maybe uh, the director of this documentary wants this look, so that's, that's how you do it. Now, here's another tr trick. If you change the composite mode from overlay to soft light, it's not going to be as extreme contrast as when it was on overlay. You're going to see a lot more detail. It's going to be, uh, sometimes you're not going to be able to use that overlay. It's going to crush the blacks too much. So you have the option of changing the composite mode on that second track, the clip on that second track, to soft light. And sometimes overlay works best, and sometimes soft light works better. It just really depends on the clip, the range of luminance values in the clip to begin with. So here's another before and after. This is with our effect. And um, that's, that's it right there. That's the quick and easy bleach bypass look in Final Cut Pro. This video is brought to you by ProVideoSchool.com. Sign up for live online training and view other free tutorials at ProVideoSchool.com.